if what you want is this note, you have to change your vibration to this note. And when you do, then it will manifest. For manifestation to happen, there are two key factors. The first is you have to be a vibrational match to what you want. In my workshops, I ask people this question. If I can show you how to manifest anything you want and you don't believe that you can have it or you don't believe that you're worthy of it, will you allow it to manifest? And the answer to that is no. So the second factor is you have to believe that you can have it. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're coming back, thank you very much. I appreciate that you're here. If you don't know who I am, I am Ed Langan. I am a master mindset coach, law of attraction expert, a channel, and a spiritual teacher. I am the author of Creating with the Law of Attraction, 10 Principles That Will Change Your Life. My work is to empower you with wisdom, knowledge, skills, and techniques that help you get results creating your life and your desires. Let's talk about the two key factors of manifestation. Everything is energy in motion. Everything is frequency. Everything is vibration. When you understand that, you're well on your way to manifesting your desires. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think of frequency and vibration. Everything is energy in motion. Everything is a frequency. Everything is a vibration. And the way I remember that, being a musician, I think that everything is playing its own little song or its own note. Let's take a look at the xylophone here, and I think you'll understand it a little better. Everything is playing its own note. So a new house might be that note, a new car, more money, a better job, whatever it might be, everything has its own vibration and those vibrations don't change. And that's a really good thing. The vibration that changes is you. You have the ability to change your vibration. So if you're vibrating at a C and what you want is at an F, you can change your vibration down to F. The vibration of what you desire never changes. That's a really good thing. What happens to a lot of people is they're so busy reacting to all the stuff that's going on around them they don't have time to really focus and send out a clear and strong vibration. Wherever you're vibrating, that's what you're attracting. So everything that's a vibrational match to the note C is coming into your experience. If what you want is this note, you have to change your vibration to this note. And when you do, then it will manifest. This is a simplified version of what's really going on. To give you an idea, the Stanford Solar Observatory says that the sun is a musical instrument playing a million notes simultaneously. Your body is also kind of a musical instrument. You have rhythm and you have all kinds of movement going on within your body. There's the breathing, there's your heartbeat, there's all the other systems. So the single note is a simplified version. You're really playing a giant symphony out to the universe and the universe is matching that symphony, that song that you're sending out. Here's another way to look at it. Let's say the song that you're playing to the universe is Crazy Train. And what you'd like to be manifesting is a peaceful, easy feeling. Are you anywhere near manifesting what you want? And the answer is no, you're on the crazy train. The good news is you have control over your vibration and you can shift and change your vibration. I want to talk to you about what you want and what you desire. I'm not talking about wishful thinking or fantasies here because 
if you believe that you could have those things, they would actually be your desires, not wishful thinking and fantasy. So we're talking about things that you actually desire, which brings us to the second factor. And the second factor is you live a balance of what you believe about everything, period. You have a balance between belief and doubt. And wherever you are on that scale is what you're manifesting. If you believe it, it will manifest. If you don't believe it, it will not manifest. It really is that simple, but changing your beliefs isn't always the easiest thing to do. I have a free resource for you. I have a workbook called Next Level Manifestation Workbook. It's free on my website. I will put the link here. It's you helpful. live what you believe about everything, period. I don't care if you call it the reticulated activating system or if you call it cognitive bias. It's the same thing. It's what you believe. You have more control over this than you realize and when you shift and change your beliefs, and when you shift and change your vibration and your frequency, things will manifest into your experience. You may have heard this quote, the world is as you are. For something to manifest, there's two key factors, both of which are in your control. You have to be a vibrational match to what you desire, and you have to believe that you can have it. You have to believe that it's possible. You have to believe that you're worthy of it. You have to believe it. In an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about beliefs, so watch for that. My Manifesting Masterclass is a self-study program with videos that you can watch at your own pace, which will help you with shifting your beliefs, becoming a vibrational match to your desires, and manifesting your desires. I will put the link below. I hope you got some value from this video. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. What you say may inspire somebody else. Hit the bell for all the notifications so you don't miss any videos that I post in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.